I bought a gas. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. It's time to get ready. It's time to get in the zone. Actually, we're not in the zone, are we? We're always talking and chatting. It's quite a nice time to just relax and get into her mindset and to character. The first thing we start with are the beauty spots. Golda, who plays Queen Charlotte. They were cast from her actual beauty spots. So these are an identical replica. It's called Pro Bondo. And we have the team fill them every night and then they dry. And then when they dry, they turn into the beauty spots. We put a tiny little bit of glue onto India's skin and then that helps the transfer. We put in braids for under the wig uh, because it's a really good, safe anchor and also it's less damaging for India's hair. We use conditioner every day. And my hair's grown so much. I think Nick's just caked it and everything lovely for hair to grow. The stocking cap always goes underneath the wig to protect the hair. And then, yeah, we just pin into it. This is... um. Very much egg look. The makeup that we're doing now is for the royal ball. So this is slightly more makeup than we have on a everyday look. It's how much makeup looks good for the character. Young Queen Charlotte doesn't particularly wear a lot of makeup. Mm. It's more of a natural everyday look. I always think this looks like a helmet. It's like a suit of armor being put on. The physicality of her comes through as soon as I put the costume and the makeup and the, the wigs and everything on. You know, once it's on, I, I feel like I'm, I'm grounded in her character. So it's very, very, you know, very important step for me to be able to become her. The wig that we're applying right now is the everyday Charlotte wig and it's all real hair. So it's just like treating a real head of human hair. These are all the different styles that we we come across. So they can be pre-styled before India comes in. This is makeup foundation, and this is mixing the colors together. So I'm just blowing air into the gun and it mixes the colors around. Look how sheer it is. There's no brush marks. You're not dragging on the skin. You know when you're on the tube? And you kind of get that rush of hot wind, just like that. A little bit more targeted into little different areas. It looks weird, doesn't it? It looks like my skin's moving about. If you see on the front of the wig here, this is all the lace. And the lace is what has all these hairs. So we have to make this lace disappear on screen. So by putting the glue on the skin and then bringing the lace into the glue, you gently start to make it disappear. We've already filmed this scene quite a few times and it was a few weeks ago and a lot of hours have passed. So we depend upon these type of images to just remind us exactly what tones we put on, where we place the makeup. So I'm just gonna refresh my memory on what we did and then continue. We have specific timings for every different character, depending on how long the particular hair and makeup takes them. So I think the longest on this show is two hours. <laughs> we'll stretch the back mm -hmm. up here so we're stretching this bit first we're looking at the level behind the ear to make sure that we get it down because this wig has an elastic back we make sure that the grips are through the elastic so we're basically making it stretch and keeping it in that stretch and then we use these type of pins so you go into the lace and then you see how you gently push that in and it won't move. You're just making it really secure. 
and then we just do the same at the front. There you go. And you see how it sits. Each character has a place for their hair ornaments, individual to their character. In certain periods as well, the hair looks really naked without the hair accessories. At this point, the wig's on, the makeup's done. So the beautiful headdress that we have, because it's quite heavy, we tend to do that as close to the filming as possible. And also lips and then final touch-ups. We have these wonderful nets. Have you seen the size of these? Look, this is just not an ordinary net. Uh, so we made these specially because of the size of the wigs that we use on this show and they keep them beautifully while India's gonna go into costume. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Not too tight? All good. <laughs> you shall go to the ball. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, Ryan. Ugh. <laughs> so now all this has to go into her set bag and travel up to set with her. So we clean all the brushes, we put all the essential items in here, and then we'll get ready to go up to set. Dress is on, lips are on, all good to go. You gotta go do your thing now. Let's <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs>